Hey, you guys, I'm super excited to offer you a simple and basic flow. The intention of this practice today is to cultivate peace um, in, a, in a season where you may be feeling anxious or overwhelmed. Um, I want you to take this time to come to your mat and make space through breath, through movement, um, just to allow God to pour in his love and his reminders of his presence. So when you're ready, we're going to start on our mats and seated. Good. And just laying aside any, any hesitancies that you have, even around this practice, uh, any anxieties, any worries, and let's just take a couple of deep breaths. As you feel your hip bones root into your mat and your spine grow taller, allow your eyes to soften or close. And take in a deep breath and notice how this feels. This might be the first deep breath that you've taken all week. Notice any emotions that are surfacing or arising as you're moving into this practice and, and just allow it. And taking notice of uh, just your thoughts, the busyness of the mind, the noise that it's making. So I'd love to pray for us before we get started today as you're breathing those deep breaths. God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you that in a world of unknown and unsure, um, God, that you um, are constant. And though everything around us is chaos and is changing, that you never change. And so God, we just ask for you to meet us right here today. We need you. Um, and we just, we lay aside the distractions, the demands, the fears, God, and we just offer them up to you. And we ask that you exchange it with your holy breath um, for peace, for grace, for new sight, new vision, to see you, to see a world that's hurting God and uh, just respond to that. So we love you and we praise you. And it's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Let's get this practice started. So go ahead from your seated position. Take those hands all the way overhead as you breathe in a deep breath. Bring those palms together and to your heart as you breathe out. Good. Your eyes can remain closed here. Breathing in and breathing out as you bring those hands down. Relax those shoulders. Good. Big breath. Really feeling the stretch in the arms. And as you bring those hands to heart, feel those shoulders drop away from the ears as the heart opens. Let's stay here for another two breaths. Feeling your thumbs press against your chest so you can find your heartbeat and you can feel your breath. Just noticing these natural sensations of just being alive. Good, so our intention for this practice um, is just to be still. So even in those moments of movement, when we, our minds begin to race, to just still the mind, making space for God to prove his, um, himself to us, to show himself to us and his, his faithfulness. So let's take those hands overhead one more time, uh, bringing those palms together. Go ahead and let the fingertips come over to the right. Left hand reaches up and over, and you're gonna feel that left hip bone want to go with you. Just feel it draw back down, maybe even looking up underneath that left arm. Good, come back to center as you breathe in a deep breath, palms together and over to the left. Good, again, feel that right hip bone. Press into your mat, reach the fingertips up and over maybe even shining the heart to the right just a slightly. Good, back to center, let's do it again. Inhale, up, exhale, bend. Good, inhale, up, and exhale, bend. Good, coming back to center. Go ahead and bring the left hand over to that right knee as you twist. Good, feeling the spine grow tall here. Bringing those palms overhead as you breathe in. Let's go to the left. Good, inhale up, big breath. One more time, twist to the right. Inhale up, those palms together. Exhale, twist left. Good, taking a big breath, bringing those palms back together. Let's put it all together here. Maybe closing your eyes just to remove one of your senses and distractions. Right hand, 
plants as you exhale over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Maybe allowing your breath to become your prayer. So inhale, peace. Let's twist. Exhale, fear. Inhale up. Exhale, left. Good. Taking those palms back overhead and to your heart as you exhale. Good. Bringing those hands to your knees. Feel free to go palms down if you want to feel a little more rooted and grounded here or palms up to feel a little more open, a little more receptive. Good. Just knowing that you can show up to this practice as you are. Everything that I offer you is simply a suggestion. And if you need more, you take more. If you need less, you stay and rest. Good. So go ahead and take those palms onto the knees here. And then we're just going to bring the chest forward, bringing that heart up towards the ceiling, putting a little pressure on those knees, and then tuck the chin into the chest as you round. So we're just warming up the spine here. Big breath, reach the heart towards the sky. And exhale. Nice. Let's do two more just like that with your own breath, your own prayers. Nice. And go ahead and come back to a neutral spine. Nice. All right, so go ahead and from here, press those hands forward. We're gonna bring, come into our tabletop pose. And then go ahead and just sink those hips back towards your heels for child's pose. Now options here, you can walk those fingertips forward and rest your head on your mat. You can take those feet back, or those hands back towards your feet if you'd like, resting your head on your mat. Just take a couple breaths here. And as you're breathing deeply here, notice where you feel that breath. Notice where the breath causes change. Breathing. Okay, so the 23rd Psalm is one of my favorites, and I've also been reading this um, the last couple of days. And while you're here resting, I just want to read this over you um, and just let you take comfort in these words. This is from the tr uh, Passion Translation. It says, the Lord is my best friend and my shepherd. I always have more than enough. He offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love, and his tracks take me to an oasis of peace the quiet brook of bliss. That is where he restores and revives my life. And he opens up before me pathways to God's pleasure and leads me along his, in his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Lord, even when your path takes me through the deepest, darkest valleys, fear will never conquer me. You remain close to me and you lead me through it all the way. Your authority is my strength and my peace. The comfort of your love takes away my fear. I'll never be lonely for you are near. And I love this last verse. It says, so why would I fear the future? For your goodness and your love pursue me all the days of my life. And then even afterward, when my life is over, I'll return to your glorious presence to be with you forever. So why? Should we fear the future when the goodness of our God pursues us every moment, every day? Let your hearts be anchored to that, friend, whenever you're feeling worried or anxious or fearful. Just rest in that luxurious love that he so freely offers. Okay, so from your child's pose, go ahead and rock back into your tabletop. We're gonna just walk those hands out and come into our first down or facing dog. Of course, remember, if you need to stay here a little longer, you stay here. So when you're ready, go ahead and press those hands into your mat. We're gonna tuck the toes, lift the hips up towards the sky, bringing the chest back towards the thighs. Now your heels can stay lifted, knees can stay bent, but work for a straight spine here. So we're gonna press, take those palms uh, into your mat, spread those fingertips out nice and wide, press through the pointer and the thumb, and then fan those fingers out. So your uh, inner elbows kind of turn out slightly and drop 
the ears between the biceps. Good. So just feel free to bring any movement here you like, just pedaling out one heel, bending the other knee, or lifting and lowering, or shaking those hips side to side. Take a couple more breaths to be here, feeling those ribs expand. And as you breathe out, feel the chest reach towards the thighs. Nice, so go ahead when you're ready, look forward and bring your feet in between those hands. You can step, walk, or float those feet up. Take a nice long breath here in your forward fold. Let your knees stay bent as generously as needed. <sighs> Taking one more breath, notice where the breath travels to, all the way down the spine to the low back. Good, tucking your chin into your chest. Go ahead and roll all the way up to standing, just stacking one vertebrae on top of the other, bringing those palms overhead and to your heart, exhale. Close your eyes if it feels safe here in your standing uh, mountain pose. Bring those hands to heart and see if you can find your heartbeat with your thumb. Notice if your shoulders feel tense or tight here. See if you can soften, relax, opening the chest, breathing deeply. Good, softening those knees. Nice, we're gonna take those hands overhead on the inhale. And bringing those hands back to your heart, go ahead and hinge at the hips, dive forward as you exhale. Good, round over the knees. Lift halfway as you breathe in. And then exhale, fold. Good, let's do it again. Roll up a little quicker this time, bringing those palms overhead and together. Nice, to your heart. Inhale up, big breath. This time we're gonna hinge at the hips on the exhale, fold, nice strong flat back, and then round over those knees. Good. Lift halfway as you breathe in. Exhale, fold. Nice. Pressing those hands into your mat, stacking the wrist underneath the elbow and the shoulders. Go ahead and come into your plank pose, again with the widespread fingertips here. So pressing into the thumb and the pointers. Nice, relax those shoulders. Now you can always come into your low plank here, keeping those hips up. If you feel like your hips are dropping or lifted in your full plank, just come down to a low plank. Nice, so with your eyes forward, you're just gonna bring that heart through slightly. Elbows are gonna skim the ribs on the way down to the mat, and then lift whatever feels good off the mat as you press back up for your back bend. Nice, coming back into your child's pose. Let's do that a couple more times, just a couple more vinyasas here. Make this work for you so you can rock forward, plank pose or low plank. Exhale, lower down. You can even pause at the bottom if you're feeling ready and leave those knees off the mat, just flipping the feet for a full up dog expression. Good. Now go ahead and make your way back to your down dog. All right, so we're going to do it one more time, adding the breath. Rock forward, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way or partially. Inhale, slide the heart through. Good, exhale, down dog. Okay, let's put it all together. We'll go through it twice just to get that full body warm up. Stepping to the front of your mat, forward fold. Lift halfway as you breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, strong flat back as you bring those hands overhead. Palms together, exhale to your heart. Good, inhale those hands up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Beautiful, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step back to your plank. Feel free just to hold your down dog or you can come with me as we float through this vinyasa, lowering and lifting the heart, shoulders back. Everyone's in down dog. One more time, you guys. Let's pick up the pace just a little bit. Step to the front of your mat. Lift halfway as you breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale to the top of your mat. Palms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Breathe deeply here. One full breath. Reconnecting to that intention of peace and to that, that intention of letting go. Good, breathe those hand, or hands overhead, palms together. Exhale, dive forward. Lift halfway as you breathe in. Exhale, fold, step, or if you like to float, get into plank. Nice, go through that vinyasa if you'd like, or just meet us in down dog. 
Nice. So go ahead and let that right leg leave your mat, keeping the right toenails pointed towards your mat and melting that left heel towards the mat. Good. So don't worry about height here. We're just kind of opening up the hips and the backs of the legs. So go ahead and bring that right knee into your chest. Step the foot through. Nice. So that back foot is going to plant uh, at 45. So your left toenails are pointed towards the left corner of your mat. Go ahead and take a second here to align. So you want your right knee over your right ankle. Chest is forward. Both hips are forward, square with the front of your mat. Palms can come overhead. They can come at heart center. You can even open up here for a little back bend. Take another big breath here. Good. Frame that right foot. We are going to meet in down dog. Now, if you want to flow through to get there, go for it. If you want to just go straight to down dog, go for it. Your practice. There's so much freedom on your mat. All right, friends, let's go to the other side. Left leg lifts. Bring that knee to your chest. Step it through. So plant that back foot at 45. So pressing through the outer edge of that right foot, bring those palms wherever you like. They can face each other overhead. They can face open as you lift the heart. They can come to your heart. Checking in with that left knee, making sure it's right over the ankle and not drawn in too much so you can still see the first two toes on that left foot. Go ahead and fold over that left foot. Here's your choices. You can flow through that vinyasa and come all the way back to your forward fold or you can just step in and take about four breaths right here. We'll all meet in forward fold when you get there. Good. So from your forward fold, just hold here for two more breaths, letting go. Just imagine, I like this imagery, just imagine those fears, those doubts and those worries just coming to your mat from your head just leaving your body, even if it's just for these couple moments on your mat. Good, go ahead and roll all the way up to the top of your mat, bringing those palms overhead. We're gonna go through that one more time. This time let's add a chair pose. So you're gonna sink those hips down into chair. So you should be able to see your toes so your knees aren't too far forward. If you feel like you're leaning forward and your chest is coming towards your thighs, just stand up slightly. Nice, take another breath here. Feel that belly draw in, tailbone tucked down slightly. Good, and then go ahead and come all the way to standing, maybe even to the tippy toes as you breathe in. And then exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Lift halfway as you breathe. Exhale, fold, press those hands into your mat. Plank pose for that vinyasa or straight to down dog. Just traveling to that down dog, however you wanna get there. So good, you guys. Let that right leg lift. Good, bring that knee to your chest. Come onto those tippy toes as you step that foot through. Good, plant that back foot. I hop it in a couple inches. Rise, good, let the chest just open up here. Option to take a little slight back bend. You can open those arms. Good, we're gonna frame that right foot. Find your way back to down dog by just stepping or flow, flowing through that vinyasa. Good, keeping the breath strong and steady here. Nice, so same thing. We're gonna let that left leg leave our mat, bring it to the front of your mat. Plant the back foot and rise, warrior one. Big breath, feel that heat starting to build. Good, take another big breath here. And then framing that left foot, find your way back to your downward facing dog. Good. And then from your down dog, go ahead and drop to those knees, sink back into your child's pose. Feel the heat in your muscles. Feel the breath as it's a little heavier now. And I just wanna give you an opportunity uh, in this moment just to check back in. Notice how you're feeling. Good, using these moments of pause as your prayer, as your worship. Maybe even reflecting on those places that we don't fully trust him and his sovereignty. 
where we've allowed the fear to, to separate us from that trust. Being reminded that his goodness and his extravagant love is in pursuit of you every single day, every single moment, in this very moment. And it's his love that, that conquers fear. So maybe during this practice, maybe in this very moment, you just surrender that fear to him. And you ask him to teach you how to trust even more. How to let go. How to receive ask him for the the healing from the unworthiness to receive it. Beautiful. So when you're ready, go ahead and make your way back to your downward facing dog. Feel free to stay here as long as you need to. And from your down dog, go ahead and get to the front of your mat to your forward fold. Good, lift halfway. And then exhale, fold. Good, roll up nice and slow all the way to the top of your mat. Bring those palms overhead, big breath. Good, sinking down into your chair pose, palms facing one another. You can even bring your hands down or you can bring palms together. Take another breath here, feeling again this heat building. Maybe you're getting a little bit to those edges. That's okay. It's not a sin to sweat. <laughs> nice. Go ahead and come all the way into standing, maybe lifting those heels. Dive forward. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, lift halfway. And then exhale, fold. So we're going to step just the right foot back this time, taking the right knee to your mat. Now, the closer the right knee is to your left foot, the less intense this is going to be. So if you need more, you take that knee further back. The left knee stays right over that left ankle. And then we're gonna come into our low lunge. So hands can stay on your thigh. If you're using blocks, they can stay on your blocks. You can bring those hands overhead. So I really want you to think about sinking that right hip and hip flexor down towards your mat, but we're not pushing our body down. We're just releasing the tension. Good, so again, palms can be overhead. They can be wherever feels right for you. Maybe even coming back into the cactus arms, opening the chest, more of a back bend here. Look, kicking those eyes to the ceiling. Good. Framing that left foot. Go ahead and just leave the right fingertips on your mat. Open that left hand towards the ceiling. Options here. You can stay. You can also reach back for that foot. So left hand to the right foot. You can even take a half bind here, taking the left hand to the low back, bringing your eyes towards the sky or keeping them down towards those right fingertips if it feels better for your neck. Beautiful. So we're going to frame that left foot again. This time, leave your left fingertips on the mat and we're going to open right. Bringing those fingertips to stack right over the shoulder. Take another big breath here. Nice. Really working those hips to become open. All right, so we're gonna tuck the back toes and float that right foot back into forward fold. Lift halfway as you breathe in and take a notice here, the difference in your body as you're doing the work. Good, so we're in our forward fold. Go ahead and take the left foot back. Drop that left knee. Good, so again, find that intensity that you like by bringing that knee up closer or further back. And then the right knee is to stay right over the ankle. And then find your expression with your hands as you let that left hip release here. So again, we're not just moving into the pose. We're releasing that tension around that left hip and allowing that work to happen. Beautiful. So go ahead and frame that left foot. Sorry, right foot. And left fingertips come to your mat. Right fingertips reach towards the ceiling. So again, you can stay here. You can reach for those left toes. You can take a half bind here, taking the hand to that left hip. So breathe, one more big breath. And then we'll frame that right foot. Nice, so now this time your right fingertips stay on your mat, reach the left hand high. And again, you're gonna feel that opening in that left hip flexor, the left quad. 
and then frame that right foot and go ahead and step that left foot in, forward fold, nice and slow. Good, you guys. Just letting go with every breath, every movement, our hearts are becoming more and more steady. Take one more breath here. Good, go ahead and take those palms all the way overhead as you breathe deeply, sinking back into your chair. Inhale, reach, maybe coming to the tippy toes. Exhale, dive forward and fold. Good, lift halfway as you breathe in, bringing the chest forward, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold. Good, step that right foot back, drop that right knee, inhale, rise. We're just gonna flow through this. So just take the right fingertips to the mat as you exhale. And then just switch sides, left fingertips to the mat, reach the right. Good, back to center. Nice, go ahead and lift that back knee and hop it in, hop that foot in just a little bit and rise into your high lunge. Good, so from here, we're gonna bend side to side. So you're gonna grab that right wrist and bend over to the left. Try not to kick the hip out here. We wanna keep the hips square, core is strong, and we reach to the left. Good, coming back to center, let's reach to the right. Beautiful, coming back to center, frame that left foot. And from here, we're gonna float that right leg behind us. So you come into like a standing seven, if standing splits is in your practice, go for it. Or you can just keep those toe nails pointed towards your mat and come into a standing seven. Good, and then go ahead and bring that right foot to meet the left, lift halfway as you breathe in. Exhale, fold, other side, left foot steps back, drop the left knee. Inhale, rise. Good. Left hand plants. Reach the right fingertips high. Right fingertips plant. Reach the left. Good. Frame that right foot. We're going to come off that left knee. You can hop in just a little bit here. Press into the ball of both feet. Rise. High lunge. Beautiful. So go ahead and frame, oh, we're gonna take our bends. So grab that wrist, let's go over to the left or just pick a side, back to center, over to the other side. Beautiful, now we frame that right foot, float that back leg as you bring your chest towards your thighs. Now, if you want more work here, uh, grab the right hand to the back of the right thigh. If you want even more work, take both hands to the back of the right leg. Calf, not thigh. Beautiful job. Wobble, wobble. Bring that left foot in to meet the right. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Beautiful. Now go ahead and take those feet a little wider than hips with distance. And we're just going to sink those hips down towards the mat. Now if this yogi squat, this version of a squat, does not feel awesome for you for whatever reason, pull back. Just take a seat on your mat. We're coming there next. So if it does feel okay and you're feeling you're, you're loving this hip opener, let those elbows come to the inside of the knees, hands to the heart, and spine is tall. You can stay here or you can open up, walking those fingertips over to one side, reaching the other fingertips high, and then just switching sides. So again, thinking about a nice long spine here. <sighs> Breathe through it. I know these can be some intense poses. Nice, so we're gonna go ahead and bring our hips to the floor and relax. Nice, you guys made it back to the floor. Go ahead, we're gonna take those feet over the hips for legs up the wall and just breathe here for a moment. Good, bringing those feet down to your mat. Go ahead and lift the hips as you breathe in bringing the hands to the floor, or feel free to grab your other hand underneath your hips. Breathe another breath here as you lift just an inch higher. Exhale, lower, just bringing one vertebrae at a time to the mat. When you get to that last one, lift again, big breath. Good, lower down nice and slow until you have one vertebrae left, and then press right back up last time here. So go ahead and hold this back bend, walk those feet in, 
just maybe an inch or two. And then go ahead and lift the hips a little higher. Maybe lift the heels. Beautiful. Take another breath here as you lift a little bit higher and then exhale all the way to your mat. Bring those feet back overhead. Feel free to stay here, legs up the wall. You can always bend the knees as well. Um, if shoulder sand is in your practice, feel free to go for that too. So you would just lift those hips, letting your hands hold your low back. Keep your chin tucked into your chest so you're not looking left or right. And just hold those hips, breathe. Whether you're in legs up the wall or shoulder stand, you can bring those toes back towards the back of your mat. Feel that big stretch down your spine. Beautiful, coming back all the way to your mat. We're gonna bring those knees into chest. Good, rocking side to side. Feeling everything settle, your thoughts, your breath, your heart. So go ahead and take that right thigh and cross it over to the left. Feel free to stay here. This is a great hip opener on the outside of that right leg. You can also grab those ankles, come a little closer to yourself. You can rock side to side slightly here if you'd like. Good. So feel free to keep your knees like this if you'd like, just a cross leg position. We're gonna twist over to the left. Now, if this feels too intense in the low back and the twist, just unhook those knees and come into a simple twist. So whatever variation of your twist you're at, I want you to think about that right shoulder coming back to your mat so that your chest is upright towards the ceiling. Palms can be out into a T or into cactus arms. Eyes can be over that right shoulder. Breathe another breath here and notice if you're clenching in that right leg. So if you can exhale, soften. Beautiful job. Come back to center. One more side. So again, bring those knees into your chest. Feel free to stay right here. Well, let's take that, that seated cow face first. So take the left thigh over the right. And then option to grab those ankles if you'd like. Option to rock. Good. And then we're just going to come over to the right side of our mat. Again, option to leave those knees, uh, those legs on top of the other or to, to disconnect. Good. So whichever variation of a twist you're experiencing, find your way back to your mat with that left shoulder and breathe. Again, noticing if you're holding any tension in this top leg, this left leg, and on the exhale, soften. Good, come back to center. And then bring those knees back into your chest. If there's any final poses you would like to practice, um, take about 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, to just take a second to notice if there's anything else your body needs before we move into our final relaxation pose. So just exploring, being curious, Good. And when you feel ready, make your way all the way to your back. Feel free to cover up with a blanket or to lay on top of pillows. Prop those knees up. Get as comfy as you can. If you're using oils, grab that peace and calming, that stress away, that lavender, whatever you like, and take some deep breaths. Place that oil over your heart, on your forehead, behind your ears and your palms to breathe. So just taking a second here to settle. This is, this is why you came here for these few moments that we're going to finish our practice together. We spent that time reflecting, letting go, getting to those edges, softening. And it's these moments where our hearts are just a little more open, a little more um, spongy because we've created space through the breath, through the movement, through the surrendering. And so in this moment, we get to receive so with those palms face up, thumbs away from the body, letting the shoulders just relax, letting the feet also splay away from center out to the corners of your mat. And I'm going to read the 46th Psalm to you as you lie here. 
And my prayer is that God will use a one word, a single word in this scripture to bring peace to you, to bring ease to you, to bring reassurance to you. Psalm 46, verse one says, God, you are such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. You're a proven help in time of trouble, more than enough and always available when I need you. So we will never fear, even if every structure of support were to crumble away. We will not fear even when the earth quakes and shakes, moving mountains and casting them into the sea. For the raging roar of the stormy winds and crashing waves cannot, uh, not, er, cannot erode our faith in you. God is constantly f- a flowing river whose sparkling streams bring joy and delight to his people. His river flows right through the city of the God Most High into his holy dwelling places. God is in the midst of his city, secure and never shaken. And at daybreak, we will see, we, at daybreak, his help will be seen with the appealing of dawn. When the nations are in uproar with, with the kingdoms, God simply raises his voice and the earth begins to disintegrate before him. Here he comes, the, the commander, the mighty Lord of angel armies is on our side. The God of Jacob fights for us. Everyone look, come and see the breathtaking wonders of God for he brings both ruin and revival. He's the one who makes conflicts and through, throughout the earth, breaking and burning every weapon of war. So surrender your anxiety, be silent, stop your striving, and you will see that I am God. I am the God above all nations, and I will be exalted throughout the whole world. Here he stands, the commander, the mighty Lord, angel armies, and he's on our side. The God of Jacob fights for us. allowing his word, his truth, to act as a spotlight, turning on the light to any places in your heart that you need more of him and less of this world, less of this culture, less of feeds, less of ourselves. You need more trust, more healing, more assurance, more holy confidence. allowing his presence to just wrap, wrap you up, to infuse every cell of your being so that as the earth shakes and quakes, we have that holy confidence of his peace, his sovereignty. And not only can we rest assured that he is good, but that he can do good works through us to shine that light to those who desperately need him. When you're ready, go ahead and uh, just bring your awareness back to your space that you're in. Notice the different sounds in and around and outside of the room. Notice what you smell. Notice your breath entering and exiting your body. Notice where that exchange happens, where the breath goes from cool to warm. And again, allowing your breath to be your prayer throughout the day. Inhaling more of him, exhaling anything that's not him. Notice your body. Notice how you feel. Notice the position of your body, the temperature of the room. The the sense of relaxation and peace that your body is responding to in this moment. That no matter what happens or what's happening off this mat, that this moment, you you can be at peace. You can receive that peace. 
You can walk in that peace. And when you're ready, bring some small movements to your fingers and to your toes. Maybe shaking those hips side to side gently. Maybe rolling those shoulders gently, shaking your head side to side. Bringing those knees in towards your chest for some bigger movements as you take in a deep breath. And then gently make your way over to your side with this this opportunity before we close this practice to, to just let go. Let this be your time of confession, of surrender, of receptivity, of gratitude. Maybe... Maybe changing out one lie with the truth and just for today. And when you're ready, go ahead and come up to seated. Taking those palms all the way overhead as you breathe in a deep breath. And as you breathe out, bring those hands to heart center. God, thank you for this practice. Thank you for this time. Thank you for the access to the internet so that your your word can still go forth even when we can't meet together. And so God, I just pray for each fearful, shaky, trembling heart, God, that you would just soothe it, that your love would just soothe their hearts. I pray for health and for healing for all of us, be it physical, be it emotional, be it spiritual. So God, we need you. And we thank you for your goodness. Help us to trust. Help us to lean into you and your word and your truth and to lay aside distractions that draw us away from that truth, God. And it's in your son's precious name we pray. Amen, friends. Namaste. I hope that you feel much better than when you started this practice. A little lighter, a little freer, a little more reminded of how loved you really are. Listen, we love to hear from you. So in the comments below, let me know your favorite types of classes, whether it's beginners or gentle, um, slow flow, power flow, more workshops. Let me know so that we can get those to you guys because it's such an honor and a privilege to be a part of your practice and to be able to serve you in this way. Thanks so much for joining us.